So today, Sony just dropped something that's literally gonna have bloggers flipping out. <laughs> see what I did there? Cause, Cause it has a flip out screen. See, see? Cue the intro. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. Um, today's video is gonna be about the newly announced Sony A6400. The A6300 is a Sony APS-C body. It has 24 megapixels and it's basically in the same body as the A6300 and A6500. So sad news, gotta keep your batteries. So I'm actually a little bit on the fence about this camera because although it comes with a lot of great features, which we'll go over in a few seconds, it's lacking one. So for some reason, Sony decided to remove the in-body stabilization from this camera. And honestly, I have no idea why they did it because they released this camera after the 6500 and it's newer technology but the 6500 has stabilization and this one doesn't but either way they release it this camera's gonna be 900 dollars and it has no stabilization but it does have a flip up screen <laughs> finally finally for years vloggers have been asking sony to have flip up screens on their cameras and it is now finally here so the A6400 is going to have a flip up screen and honestly I'm very happy about that because this is kind of like a great sign for the future of Sony cameras. Maybe future Sony cameras are going to have this flip up screen as well. So other than that this is going to be a 24 megapixel camera, it's going to be an APS-C body, it's going to film in 4K, it's going to have that flip up screen. This thing is loaded with features but the features that I think are the most important other than the flip up screen are going to be the autofocus. Um, Sony announced that it's going to have better autofocus tracking, it's going to have I autofocus tracking and honestly this is great I autofocus is already an amazing thing but Sony's just improving it drastically now and I couldn't be any happier so this camera is gonna have amazing autofocus with 425 focusing points um, I think this is great it's gonna cover around 85% of the frame which yeah, I think that's perfectly fine but I do think this camera is gonna attract many vloggers because of that flip up screen and I also think that it's gonna attract many wildlife photographers because wildlife photographers love APS-C cameras they get more range from their lenses and Sony also recently announced animal eye autofocus which I think this is huge I think this is going to be a great feature it's going to be great for wildlife photographers they're going to love that so although this camera is packed with features I do believe that Sony took a step in the wrong direction by removing stabilization from this camera um, you know you're kind of promoting this camera as a vloggers camera but I mean you remove the stabilization and also vloggers I hate to say this um, if you guys do use an external mic you're gonna have to find another way to mount it you're not gonna be able to mount it in the hot shoe because your mics gonna cover the screen so um, I think that was probably not too well thought out but if you use like a monitor like a small HD focus or something like that you're gonna be just fine but I did have to leave that little disclaimer for you guys um, it is gonna cover the screen so there's that so my final thoughts on the camera, I mean, I, I'm loving the features. The features sound amazing. That flip up screen is going to be amazing. I mean, obviously, if you don't use an external mic, but unfortunately, I do believe that Sony took a step backwards by removing the stabilization. Granted, they're trying to market this as a camera that's in between the A6300 and the A6500, hence the name. But I do believe that they could have kept in-body stabilization in this camera, especially since it's, you know, it's newer technology, even though it's like kind of backtracking it's still newer technology so I do believe that they should have kept that stabilization in that camera but Sony marketing knows what they're doing so I have no more power to them so I believe this is gonna be a great camera for vloggers um, the camera's gonna retail at about $900 which I think is a great price point um, it's pretty reasonably priced especially for a brand new camera um, that shoots 4k and whatnot but everybody kind of has to get their hands on the camera to see how it performs and whatnot but I mean Sony cameras rarely ever perform badly or anything like that um, I am kind of sad that they kept the small batteries but I mean with this body I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you can't really fit the bigger batteries in but other than that all the features are very welcomed and this camera should sell like hotcakes vloggers are gonna love it you know, wildlife photographers are gonna love it as soon as that feature comes. I do believe it's gonna be via firmware update, so hopefully when that comes, it's gonna be great. Also, these new features aren't gonna be exclusive to this camera. Um, it's gonna come to the older cameras such as the A7R3, the A9, A7 III via firmware update, uh, which is gonna come later in the year. Um, so these features are definitely gonna be welcomed and it's not gonna be exclusive to this camera, so older cameras are gonna be able to get that too, and I'm very happy about that. So with that being said, guys, those are my thoughts on the A6400. I do believe it's going to be a great camera. 
Um, but it just has that one little setback, which, I mean, it is what it is. So if you guys do agree with me on my opinion, go ahead and drop a comment. Leave your thoughts on the camera within the comments too. Also guys, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos coming soon. I do have a really, really huge announcement uh, coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Guys, go ahead and like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel. And you know, till the next time guys, this is Lumanis time, and I'm out. Peace.